Hey guys, have you ever wanted to do game development with C or C++ using SDL2? Well, maybe this is the video for you then. We're going to be setting up the C Lion IDE to compile and work with SDL2 code. Yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of fun and it should be really short. Within five or 10 minutes, you'll have yourself up and running and then we can get on to making games with C or C++. Awesome, stick around. Okay, so first things first, head on over to libsdl.org. It is the main download site for working with SDL. And right here at the top right corner is always the link to the current stable version. So in this case, it is 2.28.2. .2. So go ahead and click it. And it brings you to the GitHub page. Let's just, it brings you to the GitHub site and download it for your platform. I'm gonna be working on Windows, so but I'm gonna be downloading the mingw zip file. So once that finishes downloading, it just extract it to anywhere on your hard drive. Okay, now that you've done that, open up C Lion and click on new project, and we're gonna be making a C executable. And so just drop it in your favorite project folder. I'm gonna put mine right on my desktop. So I'm just gonna call this one SDL2 basic. And I'm using C17 language standard and hit create. Okay, so we start off with a very basic C file, just a main.c where we're just printfing hello world and returning zero. So let's go ahead and get rid of the print statement and let's just create our own SDL in it and it will accept as a parameter what kind of settings we want to initialize with SDL. And we're just going to initialize everything. So SDL underscore init underscore everything, all in caps. And then we're going to be, the next line will just be SDL underscore quit. So these are the two lines to initialize SDL and then quit SDL. That's all we're gonna do in this test program. It's just a way to verify that your environment is set up all correctly. So at the top here, we'll just be including SDL.h, which of course we don't have in our path yet. So let's uh, maybe expand, expand your project folder on the left here. So we've got our basic uh, CMake lists.txt file. We've got our main.c source file that's auto-generated and the CMake build debug folder that's also auto-generated by C Lion when you create a new project. So let's go ahead and go into our CMake list.txt file. And we have here some basic CMake commands to set up the environment and basically build everything together. So what we are gonna be doing, we are going to be dropping in a SDL2 CMake configuration file in this same project. So what we need to do here first is use a CMake command called set and then CMake underscore module underscore path. And I'm gonna set it to dollar, dollar sign CMake sourcester, which is basically our sourcester um, like our current directory, and then slash cmake underscore modules. So then back here in our project, let's create a new folder, a new directory, and we're going to call it cmake underscore modules. And then we are going to be creating a file called find, find sdl2.cmake. Then there is a standard cmake file that's floating around the inter interwebs. I will save you the hassle. So just along with this project that you'll find a link in the description down below. Just cut and paste my CMake file. I'll also put a link to where I found it. And there's, I mean, there's many places all over the internet where this pretty much the same file is being published. So all, all you're doing here is, all this file is doing is helping CMake determine where SDL2 is in your, on your machine and work with it when you want to build something. So now we go back to our CMake list.txt file. We've made the reference here to CMake module path. And now what we need to do is we have to set another variable called SDL2 underscore path. And this is gonna be to the same folder that you extracted your, the mingwzip file that we downloaded from libsdl.org. 
So I've put mine here in a folder called SDL2-2.28.2-minji.2. Two two dash dash and so all you have to do on Windows, at least, is just click into the Explorer bar here, and it gives you the full path. So just double-click into that. And then click in the Explorer bar to retrieve the path and Control-C that. And then back in your CMake lists file, just create another set command and we want to set SDL2 path and we want it to be that same file path. So just convert all the slashes to forward facing. So we want it to your SDL2-2.28.2 dash dash mingw, whatever it is you call it on your hard drive. And then the x86 underscore 64 w64 dash mingw32 folder. Okay, and then our next CMake command here will be find underscore package sdl2 required. And then we want to include underscore directories and pass in the sdl2 include dir, which is a variable that is set within this CMake modules and then find package. Okay, and then we add our executable sdl2 basic and main.c, and then we just need to add one, one more line, target underscore link underscore libraries. And then we can use the dollar sign open bracket project name, and then another variable sdl2 underscore library. And this is another variable that is set automatically for us from within this find package work. Okay, and let's go back to our main file. Oh, and we just have to load our CMake changes. So that C line gets all happy. And the one change we need to make is we have to use different version of int main instead of int main with, with void or zero parameters. We need to specify int argc and char star argv array. And that should be it. So just run sdl2 underscore basic and you will get an error. And it is because we are not including the sdl2 dll file anywhere. So what we need to do is go back into the mingw bin folder and see this sdl2.dll file here. We need to copy that and then hop over to where you created your project. So I put mine on my desktop and then I called it sdl2-basic and then within the CMake build debug folder. Just paste that sdl2.dll file. Okay, so it's there, and now we should be able to run it. Everything looked okay. We're not doing anything other than initializing SDL and then quitting SDL. But it's a, but it's a test of just making sure the libraries link together and everything works. And that is it. I told you it'd be quick. If you liked what you saw, just like this video, subscribe to the channel for more like this. If you wanna leave a comment on what your favorite editor to use for SDL2 is, maybe I can make a video about that next, either something like Visual Studio Code or maybe Visual Studio Community Edition. I hope you have a good day wherever you are in the world and we'll see you in the next one, folks. Peace.